Good day, I am William Theo, and this is PTV News Now. The agricultural damage caused by the El Nino phenomenon has reached over 941 million pesos. According to the NDRRMC, El Nino left the biggest damage in western Visayas with more than 564 million pesos worth of agricultural damage. Over 16,000 farmers and almost 15,000 hectares of crops have been affected. The government is still taking measures to mitigate its impact. Pagasa had previously warned of the adverse effects of El Nino lingering until May. Meanwhile, United States President Joe Biden remains fit for duty based on his last medical ahead of the election. White House doctor Kevin O'Connor said in a summary, the 81-year-old president has no new health worries as his age becomes a key issue. A special counsel report early this month found that Biden's memory is poor, hazy, even forgetful in his elderly status. A reassuring and extremely detailed exam, however, found no signs of neurological problems. Still, Biden's latest medical checkup did not include a cognitive examination. Biden took a short helicopter ride to the Walter Reed Military Medical Center, where he underwent annual examination. In other news, sudden death syndrome among children, a rare and devastating occurrence, affects nearly 400 families in the United States annually. In a breakthrough study at New York University, there's a newfound hope of uncovering the cause of some of these tragic losses. Aaron Rannan reports. The Began family is one of many grappling with the inexplicable loss of a child. Their daughter, Rosie, passed away at the age of two. Rosie was so full of life. Um, she was just a very happy little girl. She was joking all the time. She loved being around her family. Yeah, I mean, she was our world. Like, our entire life revolved around her. What began as an ordinary family evening ended in tragedy with the discovery of Rosie's lifeless body early the next morning. For some reason, I just, like, went into her room just to check on her, and I just noticed she was really still. And I put my hand on her back, and that's sort of when everything unraveled. I noticed that she was unresponsive and we immediately rushed to the hospital. Despite rushing her to the hospital, doctors couldn't determine the cause of Rosie's sudden passing. The medical examiner contacted us, you know, within a day or two. And of course, their initial findings yielded nothing. Amidst every parent's worst nightmare, the Began family sought answers. A clue came from a recent New York University study in which the Begins agreed to participate. Researchers scrutinized bedroom camera footage of Rosie and several other children, uncovering a potential cause of their premature demise, a brief set of seizures. All five of the continuously videoed recordings showed a convulsive event prior to the video evidence that we had where no signs of life no longer existed. We saw that the convulsions were short, they were less than a minute. That was eye-opening and shocking to everyone involved. Lara Gould is leading this NYU research. She tragically lost her own daughter to the same medical condition at 15 months. When a child dies, it is your worst nightmare as a parent, and so you are so incredibly vulnerable in that period. But then to be called the next day and say, we didn't find anything wrong with her, there's just not a word for it. And trying to think about living life without ever knowing put me on this path. The seizures observed in the video camera recordings, along with the autopsy results, could contribute to a deeper understanding and potentially prevent similar tragedies. Is there something that we can study from those autopsy specimens to identify what is different about those children? And then we can use that to understand what risk factors and identify those children at risk. And that is why these crib camera videos that we've been able to collect have been such a remarkable piece of evidence in piecing together this story. With the increasing prevalence of video cameras in children's bedrooms, there is a glimmer of hope that the true causes of these unexplained deaths may eventually emerge. Aaron Rainin, VOA News, New York City.
Here is something new to look forward to here at the People's Television Network. In person, hosted by veteran broadcaster Angelique Lazo, where she sits down with the top personality, celebrities, and high-ranking government officials to dissect the issues of the day, asking the tough questions in the quest for the truth. In the pilot episode, she shines the spotlight on the country's top cop, the pressing issues that hound the PNP like ninja cops and rogue officers in the force, illegal drugs and terrorism. Who is likely to succeed him when he steps down from his post soon and a feature on the PNP's crack unit, the Special Action Force or SAF, in person airs Saturday, March 1st at 8 o'clock on PTV. This is William Theo. Stay informed, get ahead, get the news right here.